The company that we have in focus today is Moltec Packaging. Well, as the name suggests, the company is a manufacturer of rigid plastic packaging containers. It basically manufactures paint buckets, grease packs, as well as ice cream tubs. And it supplies these tubs to a variety of industries. The company has been a very strong performer in recent years. It actually started in 1986 as a primary supplier to the paint buckets for Asian paints. The company has seen a strong foothold in the paints as well as the lubricants industry and now garners more than 55% of the revenues from these industries. Well, in terms of the top line, they did a revenue of more than 300 crores in FY18. On the margins front, they have been able to consistently grow their margins in recent years and in FY18, they did a margin of more than 17%, which was fairly good in terms of the operating performance. Talking about the business risk, well, the company is in the packaging business and the packaging trends have been changing very fast. Earlier, the packaging used to be in bulky containers, but now companies more focus more on the aesthetics as well as visual appeal of the products. The Kamal Tech company needs to keep a track of this changing to keep its business relevant in, in the current trend. Well, on the raw material front, the company derives majority of its raw material prices from, are derived from the crude prices. So the volatility in crude prices can have a bearing on the margins as well as realizations of the company. So this factor also needs to be monitored fairly closely. Well, why do we like Moltec packaging? There are a number of factors why we like this business. The company is actually undergoing a capacity expansion at this point of time. It is setting up two new plants in Vizag and Mysuru, and which are expected to be operational in Q3 and Q4. So this should really aid the volumes of the company in the coming fiscal year. In terms of the margins, the company has actually forayed into a high margin FMCG business. Certain products from this segment actually generate an EBITDA of more than 60 rupees per kg compared to a traditional business of 30 to 35 rupees per kg. So that should really aid the profitability of the company in the coming quarters. Well, on the third factor why we like this business is its strong R&D focus. The company has been the first to introduce an in-mold labeling in 2011. That segment has seen a steady growth and now contributes more than 50% of its top line currently. Overall, the company remains well positioned to grow in the current market environment and it enjoys a sticky business relationship with its clients. Considering all the positives from the industry perspective, from the company perspective and the long headroom for growth, its high return ratios, it, it remains well positioned to grow in the current market environment. The current valuations also appear fairly reasonable for accumulation from a long term perspective.